Dear friends, thank you for joining us again. For the newcomers, my name is Asya. I'm a guide for JC Travel Ukraine. And this spring, I found a new hobby to escape from home to take you around Kiev. Today, we will explore St. Andrew's Distant or so-called Kiev Montmartre Street. Yes, like the one in Paris, one of the main attractions in our city. We'll talk about love in the movies as well as the real one. We will reveal the mysteries, meditate on future, and my favorite part, we will make wishes, of course. So I'm not keeping you any longer. Our second walk starts right now. We start our walk with a monument to two famous Ukrainian actors, Oleg Borisov and Margarita Krinitsina. They were main characters in Ukrainian comedy shot here in Kyiv all the way back in 1960. The name of the movie was Chasing Two Hairs. It's a local proverb meaning while chasing two at the same time, you're not gonna get any. So main guy, Verit Holochvasto, he was a poor dreamer who wanted to get rich straight away. And he was handsome. That gave him a chance to propose to not that beautiful but rich lady Ronya. I suppose he was the only man in the world who dared to do so. She agreed. But here comes another hair, beautiful but poor girl. And of course, Svarit falls in love with another one. Love was great, but money were more tempting and marriage with Ronya had to happen. That day has come and when two were ready to say yes at St. Andrew's Church, which is just next to the monument, the secret about mistress of Svirid came up and Pronia kicked out her fiancé and he rolled down the stairs. It was a hilarious comedy. Actors did their best, so it wasn't surprising that movie was a great success which led to the creation of that wonderful monument. But it's not the end of the story. I'll reveal you a secret here, because that's a very popular place in Kyiv for all the people who are dreaming to have strong and full of love, marriage and future, they come here to make this wish. So what do we do here? You close your eyes, you think hard about your wish, then you touch the bag or the ring of the lady and let's see what happens next. During my tours, sometimes I have ladies who are married already and they still touch the bag. So I ask like, why do you do so? You are married already. And I get an answer. There always should be a plan B. St. Andrew's Church, jewel of Kiev's architecture, standing on the hill blessed by the apostle, protected by the love of an empress, survived wars, revolutions, years of atheism, but it's still shining for us today. But let's go back to the year of 1744, when Kyiv, one of the provincial cities in the Russian Empire, was preparing for the visit of Empress Elizabeth, daughter of Tsar Peter the Great. What attracted her here? Why Kyiv? Love. Of course it was love. They say we are not choosing who we fell in love with. God is choosing them for us. That's what happened with Empress Elizabeth when she fell for the singer in the Imperial Choir, Oleg Sarozum. He was a simple guy from the Cossack family, Chernihiv region, and by the will of fate, he ended up in St. Petersburg. That's where Elizabeth noticed him. Elizabeth came to Kyiv to see what is Ukraine like, what people do here to get to know places where Oleksiy was born better. Kyivites organized such a warm welcome for two that the Empress's heart melted. Being grateful, she gave the order to build a new church and a palace in Kyiv, and wished that the architect should be Bartolomeo Rastrelli. Name of the church comes up from a legend, which tells us about Apostle St. Andrew, who appeared here in the first century, and on this hill he put a cross, saying that soon God will bless this hill, big city will rise here, and a lot of churches will be built. 400 years later, he was born. So that's the romantic story which tells us about the St. Andrew's Church, which also gave the name to St. Andrew's Distant. Let's go and explore it together. Oh, 
Oh yes, we do have a castle here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Castle of Richard the Lionheart. Mysterious, romantic, built in English Neo-Gothic style, it keeps its secrets for more than a century. The construction started at the very beginning of 20th century, but shortly after it was finished, the owner, Dmitry Arlov, was murdered under mysterious circumstances. His widow sold the building to cover all the debts she inherited from her husband together with the house. Nevertheless, castle was really great. It was a dream to have an apartment in such a modern house. Though first lucky ones who moved in soon started to go crazy because of the creepy howling noises that occasionally arose from nowhere. Locals even started calling it house with the ghosts. The castle was saved by Professor Golubev, who examined stove heating pipe and inside he found actual with the holes that was producing this creepy howling sound. And it was a kind reminder or revenge from the builders who didn't get paid during the construction. So there are no ghosts in the castle, but no inhabitants there as well today. For some reason, castle remains closed for the decades. But we'll see, maybe one day in future, it reveals another mystery to the world. This 15 meter high mural is called Revival. Girl with a cosmic appearance wearing a colorful wreath is symbolic reflection of the revival of Ukrainian spirit and nation. Artwork was a cooperation of Alexei Kislov, Crimea, and Gillian Maland, France. It was created in spring of 2014, right after Maidan revolution in Kiev. Mural depicts new Ukraine, which came back to life after a long sleep. A young lady from now on will be protecting her land and a new generation. Blue circles above her head symbolize Ukraine's transition to a new level of consciousness. A boy in her hand is looking to the future with a hope. What is awaiting for him there? What is awaiting for all of us today? Let's meditate for a while here, imagine things which makes us happy, and let them happen when the time comes. Dear friends, thank you for being with us till the very end. We would be happy to see you among our subscribers, so just push the button, subscribe. Please leave a kind comment, maybe you have your special place in Kyiv and you'd like to see it in the next video. And thank you very much again for being with us. See you next time. Bye-bye.